Congratulations on the award. Tell me, what did it mean to you to have been voted this? Um, well, I've thought a little bit about it, and really what I keep coming back to is that um, being honored by your peers is the best thing that you can ask for as an athlete. Having a team that's as strong as the one that we have in Princeton, and having them take a second to be like, hey, we think you did a good job. Uh, that means everything because it's the people that see you at your worst and they're the people that see you at your best. Uh, they see you every minute of every practice that you're at and so they know pretty much everything that there is to know about you as an athlete. Um, to have them recognize you at the end of the season is pretty special. This was an unusual season for you. You've been in the quad the entire time you, you were with the national team. You've achieved quite a bit in that boat and Earlier this year, you basically told everybody, there's no way I'm going to be a sweet pro. <laughs> I actually had that exact conversation multiple times with, uh, with people on the team. Some of the younger athletes um, asked me, just hypothetically, now say, you know, say the pair goes well, uh, say you win the NSR, would you take the pair? And I said, no, I would never row the pair, that's ridiculous, I don't belong in that boat. Uh, the quad is where I belong, that's, that's my spot, that's my home, that's where I've spent my time. The pair is for somebody else. Uh, and then all those things happened. <laughs> and, uh, you know, one thing just sort of led to another. And uh, when it, when the opp opportunity presented itself, Carrie and I talked about it. And um, it was something that she really wanted to try. Uh, and it was certainly something I didn't want to take away from her, um, having it be a goal or, or a dream of hers to roll the pair. And I said, yeah, it could be fun. And uh, it was, it was really fun. So. It was a good experience too. Oh, absolutely. It was a wonderful experience. Um, I learned a ton, uh, which is a really cool part of this season, just being kind of thrown into a new environment, new uh, pair partner, new just training group, even working closely with Tom over this season, which is something I haven't really done um, because I've been more in the sculling side of things, working closely with Laurel pretty much the whole time I've been in Princeton. Uh, it was very unfamiliar, but it was almost... It was kind of refreshing just to kind of switch gears and, and try something completely different out of my comfort zone. And, um, you know, my teammates both, you know, Carrie that I was in the boat with every day and then the other women who I was racing and training against in the pairs in Princeton, they were all really supportive and really fun to work with while I was kind of figuring it all out. Um, they never gave me a hard time. They, they were just always so easy to work with and, and just made it really fun to learn this new boat. Two years left in this cycle. What's Megan Camel got in mind? <sighs> just keep hanging on. I mean, this group that we have in Princeton is probably the most talented and um, just really, really competitive, closely competitive too, uh, group that I've ever trained with, which is kind of scary because like you said, it is still two years away from the games. Um, so, you know, right now I just feel like I'm really lucky to be a part of the group and to be showing up at practice every day, hopefully stay healthy, stay motivated, and just wherever I can be an asset to the team, that's where you'll see me.